Welcome to Friday for Police Force. He is investigating Charles Long, a local blogger for Criminal Libel. He says it's not appropriate for the City Police Force to conduct that investigation. It should be handed to the RCMP, given the past history between the blogger and the Fredericton Force. What is your response to that? I have no response to that at all. We don't comment about ongoing investigations. Can you tell me if the Fredericton Force, under what circumstances the Fredericton Police Force would hand an investigation over to the RCMP? Okay, that's a, yep, that's a different question. Um, from time to time, we have cases that come before us, and uh, if there is, uh, you know, a certain level of sensitivity or or conflict, if it's a complaint against a member of our department or. Um, you know, something that makes the investigation particularly sensitive, we consider asking another agency to conduct that investigation. What if two of the complainants are members of your police force? Well, generally, that's, uh, generally that is not the type of thing that will cause us to go to an outside agency. Not that there's any set criteria. Most frequently you would see uh, a police agency, and in our case in particular, Generally, you would see it in cases where someone is alleging that a member of the police department committed some type of misconduct, criminal, or whatever the case may be. And so, in cases like that, uh, we'll consider going to an outside agency. How unusual is it for the Fredericton Police Force to pursue a criminal libel investigation? I understand these aren't common. I can't. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember a charge being laid, but I don't. But I haven't searched that data. I don't know if there have been any other cases in the recent past. Would the police uh, consider a criminal investigation in head, sort of ahead of a, a civil uh, civil cases or civil matters being pursued? In other words, should not a criminal libel investigation be the last resort of police uh, if citizens have? You know, citizens, I would think, should exercise their civil so remedies. So you're speaking. Uh, Theoretically, um, yeah, theoretically, if, if we have grounds to believe that somebody has committed a, a criminal offense, then we investigate that. And if there's evidence to support any type of criminal activity, then we pursue that as we would any other investigation. Would it be normal for eight police officers or five police officers to attend to a criminal libel matter? I mean, why would that many officers be required in that circumstance? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're referring to. Well, I, I believe the sure. department has said there's been a seizure of items, computers, computer talking equipment. about the search warrant that was executed last exactly. week. Exactly, yes. Exactly. Okay, and, and you're, so you're talking My about the number My question would be of... how many officers were involved oh. in that search warrant and and what would be an ordinary number versus an extraordinary number, I guess. Yeah, it very much depends on the case. There's at least, regardless of the type of, of warrant that it is, there would be at least a half a dozen people. That would be typical in Europe. Oh, opinion. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I've been involved in search warrants where we had as many as 20 people, depending on the circumstances. Why is that many officer? Why would that many officers be necessary, I guess? Well, uh, I guess there's all kinds of, of different, uh, all kinds of different factors that might be involved. Uh, you know, generally, just in a, e even in a case where the risk is relatively low, you're probably looking at a couple of people to maintain security, and there's the officers who are conducting the actual investigation, they have people that come to help them do the search, if there are people with technical expertise, there, there's all kinds of, I mean, uh, uh, we do search warrants uh, frequently and so our officers know how many resources they need to, uh, to get that. How soon would a decision be made on charges in this case? Uh, the case which Constable Mooney has identified. That's an ongoing investigation, and we're not going to comment about the details or try to project some timeline when the investigation is completed. This is the same in every case, of course, when the investigation is completed, the investigation uh, file goes to the Crown, and that takes as long as it takes.
What do you say about cops investigating cops? Well, we uh, we investigate different types of allegations against police officers all the time. We do some investigations that relate to our own members. We do some investigations related to officers from other agencies. Um, so we, we do that frequently. Um, in some provinces they have different uh, processes for dealing with uh, uh, police misconduct depending on if it's just job related misconduct or if it's criminal conduct. Uh, some provinces have special investigative units. But here in New Brunswick, uh, we do all of those within the police community, whether that's another agency uh, in the province, or sometimes we go outside the province, and sometimes we do it ourselves. Would you support a civilian body to investigate complaints against a, against a police force? Oh yeah, there's ongoing discussions right now uh, within the province, and in fact within the Atlantic region, about the potential for moving to uh, uh, to a, a, a wider uh, group of, or a wider uh, body of police officers who might be available to do certain types of serious investigations of uh, when people allege uh, criminal misconduct about police officers. And yes, I suppose. Thanks, Barry. Thank you. Cool.